Hey, you guys. Just sitting in my backyard here with a little baby Southern Pacific rattlesnake I just moved, removed from a, uh, a backyard. We're going to relocate this guy here today or tomorrow. But um, now that I got a little subject to accompany me with this video, we're going to talk about it. The question is, are, is uh, are baby rattlesnakes more dangerous than adult rattlesnakes? And it's kind of a common myth or wives tale that often gets thrown around with, with people talking about snakes. When you start talking about snakes with with the general public, everyone's got a story about one that was chasing them down or something ridiculous like that. Anyway, so we're going to do our best best to uh, settle the myth um, about baby rattlesnakes. Now, they are still dangerous. They are born totally equipped to survive in the wild, defend themselves, catch prey, and uh, and survive on their own. Are they more dangerous than adults? The answer to that question is not really. And uh, so here's my best explanation as to whoa, dude, chill, as to why. Size is the big issue here. Size does matter when rattlesnake bites come into play. This little guy here, probably less than a year old, um, I'm guessing he was born last fall and it's June here now probably about 100 grams I'd say maybe a little less As southern pacifics go uh, they aren't the biggest rattlesnakes but adults are still going to be way bigger than this guy I mean what 30 40 50 times the size of this animal here in weight so they're obviously going to have 40 40 50 times the amount of venom uh, inside of them so a bite from an adult would be way more significant than a bite from a little baby like this. Even if this guy injected every last bit of venom he had stored, it's not going to be anything close to the amount of venom that a much larger individual could produce, and that's going to be the biggest factor on these on a, a rattlesnake bite. Quantity of venom that is introduced into your body. So, and that front baby rattlesnakes are far less dangerous than an adult bite for bite now the question also gets brought up at least I'm gonna bring it up are the babies more prone to bite and with a lot of snakes the babies are more defensive that goes really across the board from even from king snakes and, and ball pythons even some of these babies are just snappy they come out of the egg or they're when they're first born, they're just snappy. They are uh, super defensive, and uh, why wouldn't they be? Everything in the wild wants to eat them at that size, and uh, they are not a predator hardly yet. So they have to be defensive. They got to defend themselves and um, and be ready to go because they're they got no one protecting them out there. They're all on their own when they're born. So are baby rattlesnakes more defensive than an adult? Maybe. The other question, or the other. Uh, thing that's important to remember is that baby rattlesnakes don't make a whole lot of sound. When a big rattlesnake gets irritated and it moves to plan B, plan A would be it lays there completely still and hopes that you don't see it. Plan B would be when they know that you've seen them and they start hissing and rattling and making a whole bunch of commotion. Uh, when they're on to plan B, this guy's plan B is still not much of a plan got a tiny little nub for a tail. When they're first born, they have not a rattle at all. They have little tiny nubs, and they have to earn that rattle. As they grow and they shed, the rattle links come into play. With each time they shed, they get a new link in their rattle, and it's going to be a little louder. But when they're baby babies, like this one, they don't make much sound. Even if they're rattling full speed and being as loud as they possibly can, it's not much. You might not even hear it at all. If you're working in your yard, you got the headphones on, whatever, the weed whacker's going, you're not going to hear it at all. So I think there's probably more bites from baby rattlesnakes than there are from adults. So are they a little bit more dangerous in that respect? Maybe so. A full-grown rattlesnake, when that thing gets up and, and starts rattling, you hear it. Everybody hears it around you. You can hear the thing from 100 feet away. But a little one like this, he just doesn't have it yet. So... In that regard, baby rattlesnakes could be considered more dangerous than adults. But bite for bite, absolutely. A hit from a big rattlesnake is way worse than uh, the baby of that same species.
here in the Southern Pacific. And this guy, I was hoping to get like a close-up of a, a rattlesnake nub, but this guy's nub is kind of messed up. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Maybe he got smashed or something on something, or he got run over in the road just barely on the tip of his tail. One this size should have a couple links in his rattle, but he has nothing on there, just a tiny little nub. Another good reason why you never want to identify a rattlesnake just strictly by a, by a rattle, because it can happen with adults too. Their tails get run over, they get it uh, chewed off by something or, or whatever. You never want to just look at the snake and say, hey, it doesn't have a rattle, it's not a rattlesnake, let me go pick it up. If it does have a rattle, it is definitely a rattlesnake, but um, just because it's rattling its tail, or it doesn't have a rattle doesn't mean it it's not. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.